What up, though? Okay, I finally wiped the camera lens off, so hopefully this isn't too spotty of a shot. The thing is, I'm always looking at myself in the viewfinder when I'm recording, and I didn't see, uh, I don't see dust in the lens when I'm filming. So hopefully it's taken care of. Okay, so here's what's up. Um, actually, let's just roll the fucking intro credit, because I hate the long thing. I just like to put the intro credit now, because I don't like it like six minutes into the video. So there, it's done. Okay, so it's been, it's Friday morning at about 9.30ish in the morning. Look how long the fucking grass is already. I just got it cut last week. Uh, the guy that cuts the neighbor's grass just came and cut the neighbor's grass like five minutes ago. So like, I'm already fucked, dude. I'm already fucked. And the trailer park fucking tried to, they did successfully send me an invoice for $250 for the grass getting cut last week. I tried to go to the fucking thing. They're open Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 9 to noon. That's it. And I went on Tuesday and fucking Thursday, and the bitch was fucking out of the office with a sign on the table that said, be back in a half an hour. It's like, why are you fucking open 12 hours a week, and you're not there for a fucking hour and a half a week? It's so bullshit. Anyway, <coughs> okay, I actually want to put the camera down to talk because uh, I'm stressed. So <laughs> there's my little blurb about the uh, the grass and the trailer park. Now let's... Oh, fuck. The keys are in the house. God damn it. All right. So here's what the fuck is going on. I'm so fucking pissed off. I had to come in a camper and rip a dab right now to try to calm down. Okay. It's Friday morning at 930, like I said several times. And what's happening is this. I'm trying to go to Ohio for no effects camp punk and drublick at Legend Valley in Ohio. That is this video. I'm going to that event, okay? You can fucking totally fast forward probably through this video right now until you see the Legend Valley clips if you don't want to listen to me, bitch. But here's a little bit of backstory for what's going on. I gotta rip the stab too real quick. So what happened is I fucking went to... I didn't go anywhere. I'm just so fucking pissed. I can't think straight. Okay, so what happened was this. No Effects is on their on their Punk and Drublick tour. They did a show in Vegas like last week. Some bowling fucking thing. It doesn't matter. And at that show, after they did a song, they did some like banter between each other. The, the band members on stage in between songs. And they go like this. They, he did, they did the song, and then I don't know who said what, but each member of No Effects spoke, okay? And this is what happened. So they did a song, and then No Effects goes, Hey, we did a song about Muslims, and nobody shot us. Yay! And then a second member on the stage goes, basically, and not necessarily verbatim, yeah, I guess you only, I guess if you want to get shot in Vegas, you have to be uh, a country band. And then somebody else on the stage said, yeah, that was bullshit what happened with the shooting, but hey, at least it was country music fans and not punk rock music fans. And then a bunch of people fucking groaned about that, and then they carried on the show. So now, a company named Stone Brewery, who makes no effects beer, pulled their sponsorship from the Camp Punk and Drublick Festival... That is the conclusion, excuse me again, <clears throat> that is the conclusion of the tour. And not only did, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm not cutting the clip out. Not only did Stone Brewery pull their sponsorship from the Camp Punk and Drublick Festival this weekend, they also, not Stone Brewery, but whoever's in charge of the festival, pulled No Effects from the headlining spot. The fucking show is the No Effects Camp Punk and Drublick Festival. It's named after the band and their fucking album. And because they said that country music people... It's, it's better that country music people died than punk rock people, then that's that's a problem. So Stone Cold Brewery pulls their sponsorship, no effects gets pulled from the fucking show, and now we're going to the fucking show. I'm going somewhere with this three minute clip, okay? Uh, so what happened was, 
I contacted my homie who is supposed to go with me and what happened with that was I told him about everything I just said to you and then he goes basically and again not necessarily verbatim he goes well now that that happened I'm concerned about gun violence in America and I don't want to get shot so now I don't want to go to the fucking show and this is at six o'clock last night on Thursday night once again it's Friday morning at like 9 30 in the morning no phone here for time check you know and, it, and it's like, bro, if you don't want to go, that's fine. I respect your decision and your fear. And everybody's a sensitive millennial snowflake nowadays. He's like, you're going to go? I'm like, I'm not afraid to get shot. We all got to do something. You know what I mean? Like, likely, if I'm going to get shot at the No Effects concert this fucking weekend, I'm probably going to be in the middle of doing something that I like. So at least I'm going to fucking die happy. I'll probably die afraid because I'm about to get shot. But at least I was doing something fun before I got fucking shot. And it's like, that's all it is, man. It's He's like, I don't want to go. And then so I started offering the trip to other people. But because it's like fucking less than 12 hours to get ready, nobody can fucking go because nobody has time or the money to fucking go. Acceptable amount of time to take work off. So anyway, five minutes of this is enough complaining about it. What's happening now is this. 9.30 in the morning, I'm going to go in my house, I'm going to do a load of laundry. While that load of laundry is getting washed, i got to run to Canadian Tire and get a marker light for the camper because one fell off. I don't think I have a replacement. I have to go buy one. My water tank stuff is all set. My electric is all set. I just got to tear the camper down for transportation. The only thing that might suck for me now actually doing this is like when we get there, I have zero fucking electric hookup. I have no generator to run the air conditioner or the fridge or the lights. The only thing I have is my truck battery, which runs some DC lights, these little lights and uh, the water pump on the toilet, but I don't even think I'm going to probably fill the toilet because we're just going to be there on Saturday and Sunday and then come home Friday night. I'm probably just going to use the public toilets there to save money because saving gas money on pulling a tank of... I'll just keep talking. I don't fucking care. Saving gas money on pulling the tank with water in it you're saving gas, fuel efficiency, by not hauling that weight. Ten minutes away from the gathering of the Juggalos is a KOA uh, near Buckeye Lake. But the thing about that is you have to go to the KOA and you have to pay like probably like 20 bucks to fill my fucking water tank because I'm not dumping anything. And then when I want to dump the shit, I'm going to have to go back and pay another fucking $20 to dump the shit. So I can save money by not using... I can save money and electricity by not using the toilet in the camper this weekend. Anyway, so now in conclusion, I talked to my homie, you know, Aaron Bank, not the Iceman. And, uh, and now he's like, he's just throwing dumbass shit at me, fucking stressing me out. You know, this is my video diary and I can say whatever the fuck I want. Because he might watch it, but I don't give a shit. You know, it's just, it's a fucking, it's so stressful, man, when, like, he's like, oh, I'm like, look, I respect your, again, I respect your decision. If you want to go, you want to go. If you don't want to go, you don't want to go. Uh, you know, I'm going to go by myself, but for you to cancel, I still have to collect half the cost of the, of the ticket, like, the ticket and half the camper site. Like, you can't bail on me 12 hours before we're supposed to leave and fucking, and think that that, you don't have to pay that, which he doesn't. He does not at all. He was happy. He was content to agree with that. But now, so anyway, what I'm saying is, and really in summation, because I do have some shit to do now to get ready to fucking leave, uh, you know, <coughs> this is the bullshit thing he says to me. I'm like, I got to do a load of laundry. I got to do a couple of things. I didn't know if you were going or not, so I don't know what the fuck is going on. He goes, I, I said, I got to do a load of laundry. That's going to take at least two hours. And he's like, oh, I'll only go if you can be here in the next hour. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck off. Don't fucking go then. You know what I mean? Like, don't do it. Don't. I'm like, I'm so stressed. And uh, then he kind of like calmed down. He wasn't really stressed. I was getting agitated big time. But uh, 
after I told him basically to fuck off, I, I don't think I said fuck off, but after I told him to fuck off, he, uh, he's like, fine, you don't have to be like that, just take your time and relax and this and that. So that's what's up. So now by the time I'm done this and get the laundry going, it's going to be like 10 a.m. And then after 10 a.m., it's going to be noon, right, before I even get to fucking leave. And then it's five hours there. So that's like five o'clock by the time we're getting there. And I'm saying five hours there if we get stuck with an hour of border fucking control, which I'm sure we will. And then... And then you know, one stop for a tank of gas, maybe a piss break. I know, there's a couple stations on the way. Okay, so that's it. I actually now, since like the whole 10, this is the effects of marijuana actually kicking in. I was really stressed out. I smoked some weed. I still feel a little stressed, but I got to speak to you guys and get it off my chest. The weed kicked in. I'm feeling a little bit more calm. So in conclusion, <coughs> I'm going to go in my house now. And I'm gonna fucking get this laundry going. I gotta get that shit done. I gotta buy the fucking marker for the camper while the wash is getting done. And then I'm charging the camera. I'm maybe cleaning the memory card out. I'm cleaning the Sayonara because I wanna take the drug paraphernalia with me to America, but I want it to be exceptionally clean because I don't want, you know, to get caught with drug stuff. And that's cool if that I don't get caught. <laughs> So now it's been legit 10 minutes on this clip, so thanks for watching the intro to this fucking vlog. Uh, listen, I'm not going to turn the camera on now unless there is some kind of emergency that we need to film or until I'm at Legend Valley and, and at Legend Valley. You know, once I successfully arrive to the destination, that's when I'll pick up the camera again next, okay? So uh, thanks for... <laughs> Like, for you, again, it's a snap of a finger to the next clip. But for me, thanks for dealing with me for the next few hours while I just get my shit together. We'll see you in Ohio. Right? Now! Oh, this camera's shit. Oh, dude. Fuck, dude. Okay, so there's... <laughs> fuck! There's only a half an hour of fucking juice left on my camera battery. I guess I could just run my truck for an hour and just plug it in there. That's the same as fucking doing it in a gas generator on the ground, right? Okay, so look, obviously my mood's completely changed. Uh, we're here. Uh, we got our campsite set up. It's good. I'll show it to you later. I don't feel like getting up. Uh, we showed up here at like 1030 at the back of the uh, experience. We showed up at the front where the Legend Valley entrance is, if you're familiar with the entrance from previous videos or whatever, and I thought that like Instead of turning left to go into Legend Valley, they would just make us turn right to go into parking. But instead, we had to like go all the way around this huge field. They brought us in the back. Anyway, we chilled there for an hour and a half as they slowly brought us in. They were searching everybody. It was insane. There was tables that were like, it was like they had like 10 lanes and each lane had like a little tent with tables on it and they were just full of beers. Everybody was getting their fucking beers confiscated. It was crazy. And uh, we brought a dozen cans. We didn't get caught. It was awesome. And also, uh, um, I lost a bunch of wood packing. At this guy, there, all this grass was so soft that people were sinking in the mud. So people took a bunch of my packing because I'm too kind. And uh, it's fine because I still packed up my camper and it's just wood. But uh, yeah, so all that happened. We made it in here. We got our tickets. And uh, Bink came. You came. I made a big 10-minute thing about your concern. We don't have to exploit it now, but you're here. You came, right? How do you feel about being here now? Awesome, right? <laughs> so I don't think that we're going to get shot. It was nice as fuck last night, actually, when we slept. It was such a good sleep, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep filming you so you might as well say something cuz <laughs> all right anyway so uh, so we went to Kroger and got a bunch of supplies and also they didn't sell socks or towels there which bummed me the fuck out but we have a very kind set of neighbors and uh, they uh, they got a 
one of their camp uh, patrons is going to Walmart. And I was like, would you go and do the thing? And she's like, yes, I'll help you. She's going to go buy me a pack of socks right now and, uh, and a fucking body towel. And then I'm going to wash my nuts. It's going to be sweet. And then we're going to go down to the thing. It's going to be like 11, 30, 12 o'clock right now. And the th gates are opening at noon. The music doesn't pop off until like 6. And uh, we're going to go down there anyway soon. As soon as I get my balls washed, that's when I'm going down there. Okay, so look, I'm going to wash my balls in here. At least you're fully dressed. We're washing feet. It's not bad. Look, it's it's better First than go country boy. First yeah. country. <laughs> it's better than being in a fucking public shower getting a foot fungus from somebody else. Now you can get uh, I can get your foot fungus. Get my back. Get my back. Get my back. <laughs> be the one that would be lower than yours. Yeah, mine's the 28 footer. This is probably like 20 feet. 24. 24 like feet. That. It's the exact same. This is the 1982 Holiday Rambler Aluma Light. I got the, uh, hi, I'm just making a video of the camper, how are you? Good. And uh, he's got the air conditioner on the top, mine has the option, it's got the beams and it's wired in, but, uh, hey, can I go in it? Yeah, I'll get the Thanks. Careful that door's <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know, look, you've seen the videos, look, he's got the Bargman just like mine, um, I don't know where his thing's on the bottom, but look, he yeah. does have the Bargman L400. And that's crazy, bro. It looks real nice, too. Dude, I'm telling you, look it up online. You'll be surprised. Oh, it's classic. It's just a classic thing. Sweet. Dude, this is so cool. I love this camper. <laughs> and you're thankful? So mine's a bed. Mine's just a thing here, and my yeah. kitchen is here. I guess this is a bed, and this is a bed. That can't be a bed. This has to be just storage, right? It folds down and hits here. And what? Yeah, it sleeps five, so one, two, three, four. Wow, five. that's cool. Mine does not do that. Mine's storage here. Yeah, well, I mean, you can get in there, but <laughs> lay down on top of it. That's super cool, man. Mine, we told we pulled the fridge out for a bar fridge. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this out and put. I didn't know if it would work or not. Did you just work. always need electricity. That's the thing. It runs on propane, so yeah, mine the electric work. one doesn't. This is cool, man. I like it. I like the stickers too. Yeah, I make these. You do? Sticker shop, yeah. That's fresh. Your back is burning. <laughs> We've been outside for how long? Three minutes. Yeah, I know. Wait until we. I gotta come here in July. The camper felt so cool and relaxed, and all of a sudden we get outside and it's burning. It's burning. It's over us, man. It's crazy how this is. It's crazy how this is. Yeah. You catching up? Okay, so the long story short is it's Saturday afternoon. I'm trying to fucking go down there and do something. I'm in line and fucking security very politely is like, oh, you can't go in with a video recording device, only like a regular camera or cell phone. And I fucking think so much that it fucking sucks, man, that you can take your fucking thousand dollar iPhone and go fucking shoot bullshit because it's got cell fucking bullshit on it. But I can't take in a three hundred dollar camera from at Best Buy. It's the dumbest fucking thing I ever heard in my life. So now I gotta walk 10 minutes back to the fucking camper just to drop the camera off. And of course I thought it would be a better decision to charge the fucking camera than it would be the phone. So the phone's dead. I'm gonna have to get first impressions with the camera later, man. Cause I just wanna fucking come here and chill and I'm not waiting to sit in the truck for an hour and fucking charge the phone. I'll deal with it later. Sure, being offensive. Huh? About my shirt being offensive? That's what I thought it was. No, it was with the camera the whole time, cuz. Well, what the fuck do you think? Go put your camera away, idiot. Yeah, okay, idiot. Here I go. Oh, man, it's fucking hot, dude. It was nice this morning because of the overcast fucking weather. So we went down there. It's much smaller than the gathering at the Juggalos, obviously. And, uh, that's like, what's up? Right now. Oh! I just need to absorb some of my body sweat oh, into my mattress. So, so <laughs> it's so hot right now. 
It's slightly cool in the camper, but not really. The sun is going to make it even hotter in here. <laughs> so we were only down there for like not even an hour. We ate a bunch of food and then we seeked shelter in the shade because it was so fucking hot. Now what we're going to do is just wait for the peak heat to leave because there's no wind down there. It's all sun and hardly any shade. And uh, yeah, uh, it's cool. I mean, there's a lot of food. We can't bring this camera in, but before we go back down there, look at me sweating. <laughs> Before we go back down there, I'm going to fucking charge up my phone a little bit so that I can get some phone footage at least. But anyway, what about you, Bank? I'm fucking burnt, man. You're burnt, you're a burnt man? I'm fucking burnt, man. Uh, let me see your shoulders, cuz. No, it's just my head. Your head's burnt? Yeah. <laughs> okay. See ya. Okay, so I just woke Blake up at 6.30... He's missed half. They started at 2.30. Huh. I thought the music started at like 6.30. It starts at fucking 2.30. So he's missed that. So we slept. What did we miss? Nothing much, right? Nothing much, right. So we're going to go down to the main stage and we're going to watch Goldfinger. Hopefully they do Superman. It's the only fucking song I know. <laughs> Say it again? I said, where's your piss jug, boy? <laughs> Ew, why is it on the counter, dude? Where's the uh, empty piss jug? Under the uh, table. Where are you going? This right here. Come on. Listen. <sighs> All right, I literally have no idea what I just said a second ago or what he filmed or didn't film, but the music started at 2.30. I thought it started at 6.30. I'm an idiot. Anyway, it doesn't matter, though, because there wasn't really anything worth going down there to see. But Goldfinger's going on stage in, like, less than an hour so we'll be down there for that then once we go down for goldfinger pretty likely we'll be there for the rest of the night it's pretty bullshit that they don't let you bring any fucking uh um chairs you can't even bring a fucking chair into the festival grounds they're making everybody sit on the fucking ground and shit like i say it like negatively like it's some enforced fucking nazi camp but it's true. You can't bring a chair into the festival grounds. You can only bring towels and shit to sit on. And then, like, wait until... So here's the thing. I'm not bringing the camera in for anything tonight. Excuse me now, because... I came back here and laid down and fell the fuck asleep. I dab-napped big time. And, uh... And, uh... The result of the dab nap was no turning on the truck to charge the fucking camera. That's, or the phone for the camera. So anyway, it don't matter. Uh, I'll just, you're not missing anything. What's happening there now is not going to look or be any different than when the, what's happening tomorrow. And there's no effects is not performing tonight, so I don't need to get any fucking footage. So I'll charge up the phone, and I'll take it in there tomorrow for the second day of the thing. Whatever. Other than that, it's been pretty good. I had an awesome nap. Alright, Jake. Keep serenading me, bud. Keep singing. And, and I'm all, I'm all jaked up, and I'm all doo-doo, and I'm making Jake up doo-doo-doo-doo-doo. <laughs> this is how we do 10 for $10 on uh, the Punkin' Drublick trip. First, you get a Dixie spoon, 
and you dunk it into a one dollar can of fucking Chef Boyardee mac and cheese. Look, it's not even the red sauce, it's orange cheese sauce. And then you put it in the fucking scoop like this, cuz. It goes like that. goes like that. He puts uh, the cheese in his mouth. <laughs> Wicked Kitchen. <laughs> you love the Wicked Kitchen. Hey, those guys met their Kickstarter, the Wicked Kitchen, and they're actually going to uh, send me uh, a hardcover book for helping them get some uh, uh, spotlight on their shit. And also, I think he said he's going to send me a couple other books to... Uh, for a giveaway, so that would be cool. Uh, you love the for millennia people, blah, blah, blah. spices. I don't remember the nut and grains. Right? <laughs> okay, anyway, this is how we do breakfast here, cause this is hors d'oeuvres. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we fancy now. Um, that's good. I mean, <laughs> the cheese sauce. <laughs> Impromptu juggalos review foods. What up, though? I'm your host, Not Slim One. You're watching Juggalos Review Foods. Real quick, we're eating mac and cheese by Chef Boyardee on some Tostito scoops. This show is not endorsed by either of these people because I doubt they think this is a smart fucking plan. But, you know, the thing about the cheese sauce and the mac and cheese is that it's not like, it's not like uh, Velveeta where it's so thick that you like, have to roll it in your mouth. Uh, this is good, right out of the can, just like this. It's a little bit cold, but look, it's a perfect Tostito scoop with mac and cheese. In it. Yeah, get the shot. Ah. There's not a lot of salt in the cheese, and so the cheese flavor is enhanced by the salt <laughs> of the fucking tostada chip. And I'm telling you, bro, don't laugh. You're shaking the camera. <laughs> Anyway, um, on a scale of thumbs up to thumbs down for fucking mac and cheese inside of a nacho chip, uh, in the state of mind I'm in, and <laughs> definitely a thumbs up. Are you recording me now? I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, uh... Okay, so I guess with ninety dollars, I gotta put in at least a tank of gas. So that's sixty bucks. So I can put in a tank of gas on that. On that, okay. And then don't film me scratch my balls. What the fuck? Uh, it's fine. Everybody's got to itch something, right? It's just skin cells. Um, dead ones or live ones? Both. The, the alive ones are eating the dead ones to survive. Oh. The videos don't work like that. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm not the fresh prince. Okay. All right. I'm gonna be dizzy. Guys. Yeah, hey boy. I'm dizzy now. Uh, anyway, uh, money stuff. I think I might have dropped some money on the ground yesterday. Yeah. And if I did, it couldn't have been more than twenty dollars. <laughs> What's up, cuz? Ow! Oh, look, I just, my shoulder just clicked. I'm done for the night. Oh, dude. I just fucked up my whole life. <coughs> oh, my, oh, I'm done. We gotta go home. I'm old now. Uh, did I say already once in the video that we went down to the main stage and, uh, Goldfinger was on the stage, and then he's like, we didn't write this next song, and then they performed Linoleum by No Effects, and then they closed their set by performing Superman, me and Aaron, we fucking ran down into the pit, 
Hey, did I drag you down to the pit, boy? Yeah, did we run in a big circle? Did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah, how was the Pennywise pit? I didn't go in it. Okay. It was only okay. It was good. <laughs> so anyway, now we're just kind of fucking obviously chilling out. I've been running the truck for like almost two hours at idle. Is that bad? I've just been trying to charge the fucking phone so that I can get some vlog footage today because they won't let you in. This bitch, the fucking behind me, she has like a fucking Canon D5 or whatever the fuck cameras are fucking called. And it takes like way better video than this fucking handheld camcorder does. But because it looks like a regular camera, she can take it inside and all these fucking assholes got their cell phones and shit. And they're like, oh yeah, that's all good because it's not your camera, you fucking idiot. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? They let everybody's fucking camera in except for mine. So I was pissed and the phone was dead because I spent the day letting my truck idle. So that I could fucking charge this camera that I'm holding now. But now my phone is at 60%. And I'm going to take this phone in and get some vlog footage. Hopefully I'll film Rancid. I'm not jumping in no pits and shit. Honestly, I'm old as fuck. I did the circle pit thing for Goldfinger and I'm done. I'm tired. <laughs> but I'm having a great time and I think so is Aaron. But um, that's it. The truck's been fucking idling for a while. I got to turn it off right now. 60% battery on the phone. That's got to be enough to get a couple of clips. We're going to show the inside. It's like, it's Legend Valley, but it's much smaller than the way the gathering is set up. And, uh, I'm, I might try to stream live. I'm not sure. Anyway. Why, dude? Because I took off my internet capabilities today. But didn't you just save the picture? Don't you have, like, I a... Forgot history, history in no. your cache? Check your browser history, boy. It doesn't load it up because <coughs> guess what? What? I took the internet off because I don't want to pay the My stuff. phone has the schedule on it somewhere. It's 120. I remember that you wanted to be there at 630 again. We want to see Lagwagon and Rancid at least, right? And and the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. They're going to go live down there, bro. Use up all my data. I don't know, I got stupid videos of Josh sleeping and stuff. So, uh, anyway, uh, it just started pissing rain as expected. I knew it was going to rain all weekend. I ran outside, dude, and I took a fucking shower in the rain with my shorts on, and I rubbed my dick. It was awesome. I'm fully cleaned. I baby powdered. I got a big fucking jug of fucking baby powder in the camper from just it needs to be here because it's for camping, chafing. And it's good. How you doing, cuz? Good. <laughs> so shit's good. We're good. We're just fucking chilling. Fucking neck wrinkles and all, oh, man. Uh, hopefully it's going to dry up a bit. I'll take uh, the phone down there. I know I still haven't taken the phone down there yet. It's at 60% charged. I let my truck run for two hours idle just to fucking charge the phone 60%. So anyway, that's what's up. We'll go down there eventually.
Doesn't it make you feel much better when you are an alien? You got it. Cause you will I'm falling In the universe I'm gonna to get Say it. Don't be uh don't be a stooge. Ten seconds ago it was a big deal that we had a box full of piss jugs. And now why do you think that it's necessary to dump the piss jugs out? But anyway, ten seconds ago he's out here fucking bent at the knee trying to dump out fucking piss bottles. And it's like, yo, that's somebody else's job, cuz. Somebody else dumps out piss bottles. What a fucking hater. Alright, so we're driving down the road just now, and this guy stops and says, You got a tire up. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? How long do you think we were riding like this for? Oh, it seems the whole time. That's awful. It made no difference in pulling the whole time. We have to put the other tire on. How do we... I don't know if I have a four-way. Okay, this is too much of an emergency to carry on with the camera. But wow, I didn't even know. He didn't know. Some fucking random guy is just like, yo, your tire's off. We got to deal with this now. Okay. All right, so we got the tire changed in less than 10 minutes, actually. Yeah, it runs good. Which is real lucky. Don't do that, man. I'm just the other it. tires are shit. I want to make sure that it fucking holds that one. Okay, thanks. So one of the other tires... So all the other tires are bald as fuck. There's no way... Uh, gathering of the bike tires instead of <laughs> Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna make it to the gathering uh, on this on these tires. I gotta get new tires. That sucks. What up though? Okay, so now it's about 4.20 p.m. on uh, Monday and I'm done. I'm home. Look, I'm home. I managed to back the camper into the uh, driveway by myself without any assistance from anybody. I did leave myself 
a little bit of space. Usually the camper's packed up tight against the golf, the go-kart or whatever it's called. And maybe it's a little bit closer to the house, but I didn't hit anything up here and that's what's important. I can reposition later in the week. So, dude, <laughs> I can't believe that tire was flat. Aaron was like, uh, oh, I saw, I even, con he did comment. He's like, your tires look like marshmallows. And he's just a fucking idiot all the time. So I didn't think that uh, it was anything that he was saying important. And so, uh, whatever. And then we were driving down the road and then some fucking guy was like, pointing at us. He's like, yo, you're tired. So we pulled over to get that fucking checked out. And, uh, yeah. This, <laughs> dude, the tire got shredded, cuz. Like, what the fuck? Hopefully the rim is salvageable. I'm sure it is. And uh, that's it. Like, I didn't take this camera down to no effects for any Punk and Drublick festivities because they kept turning me away, which was so bullshit. I got a couple of songs on the thing. I did the live show, so hopefully that's some supplementation for my shitty no effects vlog. And, uh, and that's it. Now, it's like I said, it's 420 I just got to clean up some of this mess that fell out of the uh, drawers driving. And that's it. That's it. I'm turning the camera off now. This no effects Camp Punk and Drublick vlog is over. Would I go back to no effects again next year? There's just... I'll talk more about it on Wednesday. But I don't know. The short answer is I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, like, uh, the, my favorite thing and my least favorite thing, okay, going away from uh, ending the vlog, ending the vlog here. My least favorite thing about the venue was that they wouldn't let you bring in chairs. Like, when you went to general admission line to get in, they searched you and you couldn't take a chair in with you. And the other thing, of course, is I can't bring my handheld camera, but motherfuckers that have cameras that look like normal cameras that take better videos than this, probably... They're allowed to take their fucking gear in. That pissed me off so much. That's like the second time that's happened to me. And now I'm thinking that I want to get a different camera. One that's more like a snapshot. I hate that idea, but I don't know. For shows. And uh, the camper ran great. Everything was good in the camper. Except for this one flat tire. And Aaron was like so smooth with it. He changed that tire in less than 10 minutes. We were back on the road. That was great. And uh, my favorite thing about the uh, no effects, Camp Punk and Drublick, honestly, dude, just going. Going was the best thing because I wanted to go and it was all like worried that I wasn't going to go and all that. And I did. So that's it. Okay, so now that is officially it. Thanks for watching this vlog. I know I'm putting it out a week later than what a blah, 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 blah. So we'll do another vlog next week. This gives me the weekend off next weekend and not have to vlog anything. And uh, next week's probably going to be boring anyway. Oh, and then, okay, in summation, I got to get all new tires for the camper. That's got to be, I thought we were going to have a decent year, no major upgrades. Wrong. I got to get fucking four new tires for the camper before I go to the gathering of the Juggalos. Brutal. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching this one. Uh, we'll put out another one the next time that we do. Every Monday, right? Okay, we'll see you next week. Whoop, whoop!